Now then YouTube, I'm the Tough Man, and welcome to Solitary Craft Alpha 10. This is not yet released to the public, but I can assure you it will be some point soon. This is the test server that I told you guys about in uh, the previous episode of this, kind of like a prologue thing that I did on people coming onto the server. Currently, there is only me. There is literally only me at the moment. It's a brand new world. I had to make a new world, unfortunately. There was a few changes with Biomes of Plenty that forced me into making another world, um, which is a shame because it means that I have to start again, but it's to be expected. It's an alpha build. Um, there is also the ad addition of a few mods, guys. Um, one of them is... Biblio Woods. A lot of people asking for Biblio Woods, which is why I've gone ahead and put it in, uh, into this version. I also want to try at some stage in Alpha 10, get Railcraft involved somewhere on the line as well, to start really getting through Alpha so that I can get into a beta stage of this pack. Also, what's been added in, as you can probably tell, is Tinker's not Tinker's Tweaks, what am I on about? It's Iguana Tweaks. Oh man, I love this mod. I love Iguana Tweaks and, bit, well, right at the start, actually, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. I didn't like the fact that you had to get flint to get, you know, a pickaxe going. You couldn't make, um, and you can tell, I've actually been in my chest here. I made a, a wooden pickaxe and then realised, oh, hang on a minute, I can't actually use that for mining. So, that was a big shame. Uh, however, I went ahead and I got myself some gravel. And three pieces of gravel makes one piece of flint, so I've got myself a uh, stone destroyer mark one and the destroyer of wood. And don't forget with iguana tweaks you can actually change the heads and different parts of your pickaxe um, as you go along. So you can keep the upgrades that you get. Um, if I go ahead and press shift on here, you can see, uh, where is it, where is it, there at the top look, mining level is stone. And you, you can see right next to it, or underneath of it, it should I say, the mining XP is 14 out of 185. The more you use the pickaxe, the more it gets the XP, and then eventually you will start leveling up your pickaxe. You can go ahead and you can change the head, you can change the uh, the, the, uh, the the rod and the tool binding and stuff like that. You can change all the different parts of your pickaxe and you will keep the levels that you get with that particular pickaxe. And uh, I love the fact that you can get just random things that get added to your pickaxe as you go along and as you level up your pickaxe. As you can see, my skill level is clumsy at the moment. Um, I still need to do a bit more mining before I can get anything done with that. Also, I've got my destroyer of wood right here, which is uh, my, my axe for the moment, my little uh, hatchet. And uh, guys, I have added a couple of people onto the whitelist of this server, and I'm just waiting for them to finish work and to get back home so that they can get on and get sorted and stuff like that. Still no Optifine as of yet, there has been no update to Thermal Expansion, um, which is a shame actually, it's been a while now and I think that uh, compatibility with Optifine is a must, you must be able to have uh, you know, Optifine compatibility, otherwise it's sometimes it can just be unplayable guys, it can just be unplayable. So. Here, I've got a little bit of a farm going on, and uh, it's just growing some stuff right there. I do need some food, because I'm getting pretty low. Uh, unfortunately, Pig, it looks as if you're going to be uh, the first one to get it, so let me go and kill you. Fantastic. I've got salt block here from Mechanism. Not entirely sure what that does, but uh, I'm sure I will learn, learn that a little bit later on. I should have some more coal inside there. Now, I do apologise if my FPS does go down. Again, like I said, Optifine is not in this pack yet, and I do rely quite heavily on Optifine, which is why I'm on tiny render distance, which is why I've got no, um, no stuff, no, none, of the, none of the particle effects or anything going on. So, I do apologise for that, guys, but there's nothing much I can do. Uh, Alright, so, let's go into here. Do I, I'll just burn wood, why not, and then get that into there. So as you can see, if I press shift over this, I can now see the saturation and the hunger it gives me back. And that's part of the Spice for Life mod, which is fantastic. I love the uh, that the what it's trying to do. Look at that, there we go. Look at that saturation on that. It is great. And I get four pieces of hunger as well, so a couple of them will fill me up quite nicely. But as you can see, diminishing returns start after eating any food six more times. I may actually up that to about eight or nine more times, just so that, you know, you're not, you're not really early game trying to run around and try to get different types of food. Not that it's very hard, because Pam's Harvest Craft is in this mod now, uh, in this pack now as well, so it's really not that hard to get it. Um, let's get these eaten. And you will see, a little overlay there 
If I don't have that, if I don't have it selected, you can see nothing. If I have that selected, it will say, look, this is what will happen when you eat this particular food. So this will get me full of saturation and full of hunger as well, which is fantastic. And uh, I can now carry on with what I was going to do, which is I'm going to go and do a little bit of mining. Um, in between episodes, not in between episodes, what am I on about? What am I on about? This is the first episode. I've managed to do it in between episodes. Uh, what I've been doing, guys, with the configs is just finding out where... I'm going wrong with some of the world generation. I've upped the spawn rate of charged Certus Quartz. And I've also, guys, I've also gone ahead and um, disabled Mechanisms Copper, uh, Mechanisms Tin, um, Electrical Ages Copper and Electrical Ages Lead, uh, the generation of that. Because I found when I was doing my little bit of testing that that was also being generated. And I was like, well, why are you being generated? And I managed to find that. Also in Alpha 10, guys, the quest book will be extended thanks to a couple of the guys that are going to be on this server. X Nihilo has a full-on quest line now. Thanks very, very much to, uh, I think his, his in-game, well, his name on the forums is Finn Vara. But uh, I I'm not going to go ahead and, and say what his actual name is because I don't think that's fair to do that without asking him. Um, but he will be on the server as well. And... Uh, as you can see, I've got an unclaimed reward here. I can get seven acorns and an exotic acacia, a birch, or a spruce seed. I'm not going to go ahead and get any of those just yet. Um, but you can see I can make crooks. And basically what this does, guys, what this is... So as you can see, I've got all quests are completed here. Uh, that's going to change, guys. Don't worry about it. But solitary craft fun, or solitary fun, using the book. I've done that. I can get a reward out of an oak plank. Which is fantastic. Oh, I love that little jingle. It's great. I can get wood planks if I really want to. So I can go ahead and go like that. And then uh, manually submit one. There we go. And I get one back. You see, I, there's no, you don't get anything for it. This is just basically a tutorial on how to use the book. Make a crafting table. I've already done that. I can claim four, four wood, quest delivery system, and a hopper. So let's get the hopper and the quest delivery system. I think you've, you know how to use this by now, guys, if you've played Agrarian Skies or anything like that. Um, and using the QDS, I've got to actually physically... Um, I can't manually submit this, as you can see. I've got to select the task, right-click that, and make sure that I throw it inside here, like that. And that should be able to do the quest for me. And we want the hopper back. So you will have to have had... The ability to craft a, uh, a pickaxe at this stage. So I'm going to manually submit that. And I get a three iron as well. And I get either some carrots or birch sapling. I'm going to go for the carrots because they're always very useful. And I'm going to go ahead and put all the rest of the stuff inside that chest right there. Oh, so ice cream van outside. I'm also going to pick this back up because I don't want this on the floor just yet. And I'm going to slap that into there along with my books. Oh, no, not that one to go through what exactly this book is all about. So as you can see, I've done all of that. Now that basically tells you how to use the book and use some uh, certain types of quests. And uh, it tells you how to use the book for those quests and so on and so forth. But generally, it's n this, this is not about the rewards. This is more about showing you all of the mod. So Ex Nihilo here is a brilliant, brilliant quest line, and it will teach you every single aspect of Ex Nihilo that you will ever want to know. It will teach you everything, which is I think is just fantastic. This is a really, really, really good quest line. If you don't know about Ex Nihilo, this is like a complete idiot's guide towards Ex Nihilo. If you were a six-year-old sitting there playing it, I'm not saying that you are a six-year-old, but if you were a six-year-old there playing it, you can learn the mod. And I tested this with both of my sons, and they already know what they're doing now with Ex Nihilo. So it's brilliant. It's brilliant for teaching you that. And that's basically what this book is going to be going for. There are going to be more quest lines that will run through the different stuff within, uh, within the mods and give you like a tutorial through these mods as well. So, okay. Um, I don't need that book right now because I, I don't plan on doing any quests today. Uh, I do plan, though, on going into uh, the mines. Uh, let me just quickly stop recording right here for a second and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we are back. Now, it is going to be night time soon. I do have a bed over there. I haven't got Optifine, so it's not zooming in for me. But um, 
Yes, it will be night time soon, and I'm planning on doing a little bit of mining. I'm hopefully, uh, hopefully I don't come across anything because I don't have any kind of uh, materials uh, that I can use for for giving slappings to um, to to enemies. As you see, my FPS has dropped a little bit. This is basically because this is like newly generated terrain and stuff like that, and it does it does do this to me. It does do this to me, and I know I've heard from numerous people that that people are having some kind of FPS problems, um, that so bad FPS problems. I mean, this is uh, this is a few of the people that have been having the problems, uh, like really really bad FPS, like, and I mean like non-existent FPS. Oh, I can't actually get my. I can't actually get iron. Well, that's a bit annoying. Uh, it looks like I'm going to be stuck with uh, with stone here. So I'm hoping, I don't know if I can, or not, andesite, what the heck is that? What can I use it for? Can I use andesite for anything please, gain his mod? I can use polished andesite, now this is, looks pretty decent. I can make stone slabs with it as well, if I so wish. Which I suppose is okay. Um, night time guys, look at this, it's night time. I purposely haven't got the mobs set on my journey map. There was a, an update to this, and I'm hoping that that has fixed one of the crashes that somebody had within the uh, uh, in the forum. Somebody told me about that. Uh, they had a particular crash where one of the mobs was trying to display over in the top right hand side there. It's from Lycanites and unfortunately Lycanites is not on this server mainly because it's such such a, a hog of resources that I've just decided to leave it out. Um, hopefully that, that fixed it. So okay, if I can actually use flint how, if I can't actually use flint to mine iron, how do I mine iron? This is the question. So you can see here, I'm mining level stone. I need something that can mine iron. Let's go in towards here. See, wood, stone, cactus. No, it's this. This is the one I'm on about. I can actually make a pickaxe of stone, but I don't think I can actually use that. Let's go ahead and make one. Can only be used to make casts, cannot be used to make a tool. I'm going to try that anyway, because it says that I can make a stone pick... Hmm. Ne obsidian, fuse wood, ghost wood, dark wood, nether quartz, certus quartz, all of this stuff I can't actually mine. So, how on earth would I mine without one? Now, this is a crafting station. I should be able to put that there like that, no? Is it the part builder I do it in? No, apparently not. Huh. I can't actually put that in there. Do I have to actually make a crafting station that isn't attached, that is attached to a part builder? Is it something like that? Or is it attached to this tool station? And that will give me that little tool. There we are, look. Is it that way around? No. I don't know how to get something that will mine stuffs. Ah. Give me one second, guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, I may have actually come across my first issue. Apparently, the next order of business is copper. And uh, at this level, at the flint level, I should be able to mine copper. Now, I don't know whether or not I need to actually have the skill level go up first before it will actually mine uh, a different level. Um, I, I'm gonna have to find out by mining. I'm gonna have to find out by mining up stone, getting a load of stone, and uh, and seeing what what happens and whether or not the mining level will actually go up to copper. I'm hoping that that is the case. Otherwise, I'm gonna be stuck in an endless loop that I just can't use this mod because I can't get copper without a, a pick to actually mine it with doesn't make much sense. Uh, so I'm thinking that that is going to be the case. So I'm going to go out mining for a little while, guys. I'm going to get myself leveled up on this pickaxe and see whether or not I can actually mine copper. Well, I'm still down here in my mine, guys, and uh, I went ahead and I've killed a skeleton, as you can see. I've probably died quite a few times. Well, no, I haven't died quite I've been shot quite a few times, should I say. And I've got a steel chest plate from one of the skellies that I killed, and I've also got a couple of bones and a couple of arrows. Um, also, guys, look at this. My skill level is now comfortable. The mining level hasn't yet changed, and that's because I'm not quite there yet. If I take a look at that, 186 out of 211, I've still got a little bit left to go of that one. However, my skill level is now comfortable and it's added haste to it. I mean like full on 50 redstone worth of, of haste. 
So instead of being the slow mining machine it was before, this is quite goddamn fast and I am enjoying it guys. And I'm very nearly there actually in terms of getting it. So 198, 211, just a little bit left to go and hopefully I should be able to get this on camera. It's like a little ding that happens. So as you can see, not currently harvestable. Plus one mining level. Now I can mine copper. There we go. So that is actually how it works. Well, I didn't actually know that, so that's great. Mining level XP boosted is what it means. I think that that's as much as what it can do. I don't think it can go above copper unless I change the pickaxe, uh, the, the head that, that is on top of there. So uh, copper ore, guys. I can now mine copper ore, which will allow me to go ahead. I'm just going to go ahead and use my uh, vein miner here. One thing I'm not quite sure I'm going to keep on the server. I'm going to keep it in the pack, but I'm not quite sure I'm going to keep it in the server. I can't mine iron yet. I can only mine copper, and I can only mine... Um, oh, I can mine saltpeter as well. Oh, there you go. There you go. I can mine aluminium, because I need aluminium to make aluminium brass in the smeltery, and so on and so forth. I can mine zinc as well, apparently. What does zinc make? Zinc, by any chance? Yes, it makes zinc ingot. And it will also make an esteemed innovation. Flaxbeard Steam Power Mod. One copper, one zinc, and a book. Oh, I could actually make one of those. Why don't I go above ground and see about getting myself one of those. Now, it's pretty dangerous out here, guys. Uh, especially at night time. Uh, I've got nothing lighting the place up whatsoever. So, one copper ore, one zinc ore, oh, and a book. I don't have a book, do I? And I won't have a book for a while. I've got sugar canes. But I've got no leather. Yeah, I sure, yeah, I did. I saw you. There's a little witch over there. I've got to make sure that I don't get involved with that. Um, just give me a piece of your leather. That's fantastic. As you can see, a little bit of FPS. Like, I, it will get better, guys. As soon as I get Opsifine back into the pack once thermal expansion's gone up, I uh, updated, sorry, I will be able to get that done. So, okay, let me go ahead and make one of these. Hopefully it doesn't crash. Boosh! Esteemed Innovation, a brief guide to steam power by Haig Yorker. It's by me. I made this book, apparently. Uh, it's definitely not me, guys. I can tell you that. Recent creations, steam systems, pipe wrench, pipe concealment, steam whistle, fan, vacuum, pressure converter. All of this is from Flaxbeard's steam power mod, which is something that I definitely want to try out at some stage. Um, basics, preface, what's this? I've decided to delve into the fantastical world of steam technology. I created this spiffy journal to record my exciting discoveries. Anytime I stumble upon something new, I'll jot it down, lest I need it for later. So there we go. Share plus recipe. Esteemed motivation. Apparently it's pit there's two pages. Oh no, there's there. How do I go back? Escape? Yes. Oz, there is copper and zinc that's been added into the world. Now, you will get two different types of zinc if you have flax beards and if you have um, metallurgy, I think is the other type of zinc. If anything else adds zinc, you will also get that as well. Until I figure out how to actually add it to the thermal foundation, because uh, I'm not quite sure how to actually use that just yet. But I, I'm going to be looking into that, guys. Um, and I will add zinc into normal world gen if I can, so that I can take it out of those two mods in particular and just have one type of zinc. But at the moment, you will have two types of zinc. Bits and bobs. Brass piston, brass turbine. So it's all about brass. It's all about brass. How do I make brass? Is it like copper and zinc by any chance? <laughs> Probably is. Uh, let's go and take a look, actually. Brass. Brass ingot will do quite nicely. Where are you, brass? Aluminium brass or brass. Right, okay. Recipe for brass is not actually here. Brass nuggets, maybe? No? Brass dust. I can get brass dust, but surely there's a way of making brass within uh, the flax, the steam power th mod. Steam systems boiler. It doesn't say anything about making, unless I'm just not reading it properly. Try to be able to find uses for them in the system. Plating a piston assembly with brass increased durability. It doesn't say anything about it though. Metal casting. Maybe that's the one. 
I finally found a way to create alloys out of various metals. Here we go. The crucible. To use it, I place a ceramic crucible over a hot fire. I can then toss in various types of processed metal, but not ores. This metal will melt into liquid and form into alloys if possible. Right-clicking on the crucible with an empty hand will pour this liquid metal into an adjacent mould. So yeah, bricks. I'm going to need to make a crucible if I'm going to get uh, brass. To, well, I can get the brass... Uh, dust and do it that way, but really uh, that's kind of cheating. That's kind of cheating. Anyway guys, this is a, a brief introduction, part one, into uh, Solidcraft, the, uh, the, the the server version of Solidcraft. Uh, hopefully next time a couple of people will be involved and on the server and kicking around as well as me, and uh, we can really start getting in touch with some of these mods. Next time you see me, I'll probably have some way of melting down this copper. At the moment, you can't melt them in the furnace. That is one of the things that's introduced by Iguana Tweaks. Um, so if you don't want Iguana Tweaks, make sure that you go ahead and disable that as a mod in the selection. Iguana Tweaks is currently not in the recommended mod list. If you click, uh, if you click select recommended, then uh, Iguana Tweaks won't be one of those mods. At the moment, it's currently still in beta, so it's not in. It's not part of one of the recommended mods. But I love, I love that mod, so I'm not going to. Ah, oh, come on, it's getting there. I know it is. There we are. Look. So yeah, look at this. Plus one haste. Which is great. You notice room for one more uh, thing. I've got another modifier to go on there. Look. God knows what that's going to be. But it will get leveled up in round about just less than 300 blocks of mining. So I'm, I'm going to be looking forward to that, guys. And hopefully next time you see me, I'll have a, a, a smeltery going somewhere along the line. And maybe even a little house. If you've liked this episode, guys, please go ahead and leave a like. That would be amazing. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. I've been the Tough Man. As always, stay safe.